Welcome back to another episode of DIY Solar Energy. So, as you are aware of my ground mounts that I've uh, built here. Uh, getting this yard finally in order and still haven't got the old ground mounts out yet. But So with these poles, I've got to figure out how to mount my combiner box yeah so it's just not going to work but I have a solution for everybody that wants to mount their combiner box to a pole okay so I have some 2 inch by 2 inch angle this is some new angle that I uh, picked up and unfortunately you can't just yeah see that's just not going to work we need to notch that luckily i have a two inch hydraulic knockout so let me show you that so what i've done here is a couple of different tests is this is a knockout with several knockouts that's a half of a knockout so let's see what the differences are. Yeah, with several knockouts, sets it in pretty close. And one with a partial knockout sets it eh, and gives you a good distance away. So I think I'm gonna go this route and I'll clean up the pole and weld it on. But first, I need to cut it and drill it to the uh, solar combiner box and then I can tack weld it and then take it off of there and then weld it fully okay so I got the knockouts marked where I need to cut it and let's get to cut okay so now we have decisions to make I have three posts this is my most feathers post that'll be away from the battery shed I could put it here and then trench, a long trench. And then my wires from the other side of the ray would be a long run. Second would be, I could go over here most closest to my shed. And uh, I apologize for all the junk. It's about to get loaded on the trailer. We got that shop cleaned out and uh, yeah, so. Uh, but you'll probably see in some upcoming videos. I can mount it here, then all my runs from there will be here. Or we could simply go in the middle and it would be equal, then I could just trench from here to the battery shed. Now, I've got a lot of side grinders and a lot of different angle cutters, but uh, I bought this. Again, it's not sponsored by Bauer, but uh, I'm gonna be the first to tell you that I've got some pretty high name brand tools. And by far the quality feel of this and the assembly was by far supersedes any other brands I've ever had. Especially like the little guard here. It's just a, it, it, everything just made sense. So. Uh, I'm going to grind off a spot right here, and then um, we will uh, get the welder out here and get that one bracket leveled and drill some holes and see if we can't get the solar combiner mounted. So let's get started. Okay, so I got my first spot ground off and I'm using this little bitty tiny um, level that's magnetic that'll kind of give me the rough spots so on throw one quick tack on it and then uh, level it all four corners let's get a little tack on we it. got a couple beads laid down i am not the best welder but i did go ahead and throw a bead underneath there which looks tons better so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit i had to make three passes uh, had three different start and stops one two three so okay 
Okay, I got it ground down. You can see I got a little hot right in this area right here. It kind of shrunk in a little bit. But I thought I was going to have to do a lot of grinding to get that weld to smooth out. I really didn't. I did grind this down, round off all the corners. Of course, not able to get in there, but man, that weld in there looks so nice. Why couldn't all my welds look like that? And again, I'm just a hobbyist. So... Let me get the the uh, combiner box out here so I can dot the holes while it's leveled. So I can get some holes drilled so we can get the bottom bracket done. I got my holes. It does look uneven, but uh, according to the level, it's level. So, <laughs> all right, be right back. The drilling was right. So uh, I'm gonna snuggle those up just a little bit and then try to get the second bracket down here so I can get it tack welded in and then do a final weld. Okay, so I got my second bracket here. Now I'm gonna actually flip it upside down. Like so. So now what I'll do is, let's see here. I'll make sure it's level and I'll tack it in. So I got the uh, bottom one mounted and weld it in got the bottom welded to and let's throw a coat of epoxy black i have uh, sanded it all down real well and dusted it off wiped it down with a little bit of alcohol so got some uh, epo appliance epoxy black so i love this stuff let me get a coat right, on. Now the tedious process comes of letting this epoxy black dry. Uh, as you can see, it leaves a extremely high gloss shine and fills in so many voids. Okay, so we're back. It's, eh. Still quite tacky, but with my run, we're gonna go ahead and mount it okay, up. Okay, so it is mounted temporarily. I've got to get some stainless steel uh, bolts and nuts and washers and lock washers. But uh, this is the general idea. I think this is a better way of mounting your solar combiner box. And I guess let me get the, I'm not gonna put breakers in it right now. Let me go ahead and get the plastic cover and the front on it. And there we have it. A midnight solar combiner box for this small, I think it's gonna be close to a six kilowatt array. And of course, you have to hang around for part two where we do all the wiring, get all the panels connected, and get it ran into the solar battery holder shed Duma hopper. So much going on. I've got so many videos in the middle of being edited, so many videos in the middle of still being shot. Uh, I've got a lot of help that's helping me. So, yep, I appreciate it, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, any other questions or uh, maybe a way you may do it, share it with us in the comments below. And uh, as always, thumbs up with my painted hands. All right, take care, 73.